So this is a typical-ish example. So 30 centimetres of bleach, which we know is this guy, was added to excess iodide ions in dilute sulfuric acid. Why do I need to dilute sulfuric acid? Well, to get this equation to work. So that's my uh, ZLO minus, that's come from the bleach. I've added excess iodide ions. In acid, I produce chloride ions, iodine, which is a key thing, and water. So you'd always produce iodine as well? I always produce, yeah, it's good, because I then take that iodine, the I2 formed is titrated against thiosulfate according to this equation. What are we finding? So, what I want to do is I want to find out the concentration of bleach. So, find concentration of bleach. That's, like overall aim of that, That's my overall aim of uh, this one. Concentration of like iron. Oh, sorry. Concentration <coughs> of. Uh, CLO minus okay. minus Okay, so what how do I always start these off? Well, by moles of thyroside. So let's do moles of um S2 O3 2 minus. We know is concentration times volume over a thousand. Concentration 0 0.200. The volume they told me was 24.3, and I'm going to pop that over a thousand. And I reckon that makes 4.86 times 10 to the minus 3 moles. Why have you changed pen? Uh, can I pick up a blue pen? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, what would I now do? I've got to work out, so for every one of those, I'm sorry, how many thiosulfates? Two, so two. divide by two. So I need to divide by two. So moles of I2 is equal to 4.86 times 10 to the minus 3 divided by 2, which is 2.43 times 10 to the minus 3. So, I have worked out how much of that I had. Then you need to take the leak backwards to use this equation. For every, remember that, all of that iodine came from that. So, I, what do they want me to find out? They want me to find this. So I now need to relate that to that. So for every one of those, how many of those must I have started with? Wow. Brill. So how many moles of ClO minus do I have? 2.43 times 10 moles. Fabulous. My final step is concentration. So concentration is moles over vol times a thousand. Moles we've worked out would be 2.43 times 10 to the minus 3. The volume was 30 times it by a thousand. And that gives me. Yeah. Moles per decimeter cube. Now, normally, <coughs> well, sometimes they give you this, but sometimes they give you the half equations as well. So remember, we looked at how you combine two half equations together. Do that, so you've got to be able to do that. Is everybody happy with this example? Yeah? Is that the answer to your question? That's the answer, yeah. Okay, it's a slightly more complicated example, but the main thing is keep calm and just work your way through it. So I've got some bronze, and I want to find out how much copper it contains. So I took 0.5 grams of it, and we acted with nitric acid to give copper 2 plus ions. That's this equation here. So I'm taking copper to produce copper 2 plus aqueous. The solution was neutralised. And we have to have iodide ions to produce I2. That's this equation here. So copper 2 plus, doesn't matter about that, but it's <coughs> not my iodine. That's what I'm interested in. I then react with that with sodium thiosulfate by that titration there. Okay, so those are my three equations I need to combine out. Where do I always begin? Moles of yeah. sodium thiosulfate. Moles of S2. O3 2 minus. 
concentration times volume over a thousand, 0 0.200 times, times 22.40 over a thousand. And that gives me 4.48 times 10 to the minus 3. Moles of I2 is half Moles of S2, O3 at the moment. Yeah. Now, I need to relate with the. Wait, what do I want to find out? I want to find out how much copper. Yeah, relate it to So I've got to relate it now. So I'll just let you finish. So is everybody ready for me to relate? Because it gets a little bit confusing. Right, I've worked out the moles of thiosulfate here. Yeah? For every two of those, one of those. That, if I just change the colour. Yeah. It's the same as that then. <coughs> that there has come from that there, okay? That there, I've got to relate that, so I have to keep relating this back. So that has come, the copper is what I'm interested in, but can you see I've got two coppers there, but only one there? Mm -hmm. So this equation, doesn't matter, I'm going to say, well, obviously to get all this to balance, so two coppers make two copper two pluses. Yeah. Those two copper two pluses make one iodine and one iodine react with two thiosulfates. So, what do I want to, I've got to relate thiosulfate <coughs> to copper. Those are the two things, I'm not interested in the rest of this junk, I'm just interested in those two things. So, how many moles of copper must I have started with? Brilliant, yeah, I must have had the same number of moles. So, moles. Yeah, moles of copper is going to be the same. So it looks really, really complicated, but in fact, you've just got to relate it back, making yeah, sure everything's Because I always should like half it. Right, so I've worked out moles of copper. What do I want to work out? I want to work out percentage of copper, don't I? So I need to now convert that to a mass of copper, which is moles times molar mass. which is going to just equal 4.48 times 10 to the minus 3 times by the molar mass of copper, which is 60, is it 63.5? Yeah, That gives me 0.285 grams. So I now know how much copper I've got. All I need to do is do my percentage. Percentage mass, 0.285, divided by my original sample, which was 0.500, times 100. Oh, at the top here. And that gives me 56.9. Sentiago.